What's up, y'all? This is a day called Quest, and this is a YouTube video about the five features that 2K22 that 2K23 is missing. So let's talk about it. The first one is when you win Mighty NBA, you cannot play with the draft class. There should be pre-draft workouts. There should be individual workouts. Dude, if, you, if you let you see a small clip of the combine, that'd be cool too. It used to be in past two Ks that you can, you know, play with your draft class before you draft them. You want, you know, maybe see if you, you like the jump shot. You like the way they move, if they're athletic or not, because the numbers on the attributes they don't always tell you everything about the player. So. I believe you should be able to play with them. That's in, that's my opinion. I think other people would agree too. But yeah, that's the first one. You should be able to play with draftable players in the draft class. Okay. So, part two. Number two. <laughs> um, my career and my part should be two different modes. Because I know that people who strictly play part don't want to have to grind my career. Um, people have been talking about that for years. Maybe 2K is struggling with how to actually do that because maybe they don't know how to split it up effectively or they don't know how to split it and keep turning the profit that they do because they they make good money and they like the profit and they like coming to their stockholders with this big profit margin that they're uh, making but um yeah so I, there should be a way for them to split that up because I play a little bit of my part but personally I play my career and my league so I, play, I do play my part but I would like for it to be separate like there should be seasons of, season awards in my part and my career if you do this or do that, you get it. But you have to play my part to get those rewards. Like extra VC, double XP coins, stuff like that. You have to play part if you want that um, your, your character to have those things. So I believe that they should be two different modes in the game. Number three, create a, create a legend should come back. And I mean, it should come back just like it was where you can play games and get VC to improve the player and to improve their career or change their career or something like take Kwame Brown and become, take Kwame Brown, he will become a Hall of Famer. You know, some people want to redo Melo's career. You know, people say Melo should have had a better career or what about Bus? You want to re, you want to um, play as Greg Oden? You want to play as Anthony Bennett? You want to play as Derrick Rose? You know, when Derrick Rose, his career after he got hurt, how you can change that? You know, you can you can be even, like, even people like, people don't need, haven't even, you know, heard of, like, Patrick Ewan Jr., but that would be probably hard to find <laughs> in the roster. But you know what I'm saying? You can take obscure NBA players and make them into Hall of Famers. Or you could just replay scenarios that you want to do. You can, say, you know, uh, want to put Le- LeBron in the 90s. Or maybe put a 90s player in the current. I know they kind of did that with Errors. But it's not single player mode. Errors is all five. So, I mean, maybe that's better. You can control all five. But Grand Legend was still fun. Remember 2K12 when everybody was doing Jerry when they created Legends? Or, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people were doing Sean Livingston, Tracy McGrady. That that was fun. You know, to take people who should have had a better career. Or maybe, or take somebody who underperformed, crazy underperformed, like Adam Morrison. Or, you know, any other one of MJ's bad picks, like Michael K. Gilchers or something like that. Maybe give him a jump shot. What about that? That would be very fun, and I think 2K23 
24 should have this mode, they should implement that. I don't actually know if they can do this one. This one is kind of a wish, but if they can have an NCAA basketball game add-on to 2K games in the future, like have it as a, a DLC where you can play college basketball and I know that's a whole another game, you know, but it would be fun. People would pay extra for that if they attached it to 2K maybe in a bundle where you could start your mouth playing college, play, play through the season, you know. Actually, so you, you know, actually uh, have a good overall instead of having to pay on that BC. But having a good overall from playing all them games, you know what I'm saying? Export your player so you don't have to go through the combat and all that story. Export your, export your player right to the lead. That would be fun. That would be real fun. Well, like I said, that one was a Hail Mary. That's a, a long shot. That was a reach. But I don't think that one's going to come to fruition at all. But, you know, it's just a good, a good idea. And my last but not least, and I know this one isn't going to... This one is definitely not going to, gonna, it's definitely not going to be true in the near future. I would hope them to take away all virtual virtual currency when it comes to player attributes and just keep it cosmetic. Hair, tattoos, um, you know, skateboards, things you want to move around with, um, all of that's cosmetic. Clothing. Everything that cosmetic, cosmetic shoes, you keep that BC. But attributes, you should be able to earn that from gameplay. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't. You shouldn't have to pay through VC. And I'm not talking about like you know the way they have it to wear. It takes you forever. You know what I mean? You know, just it, it actually start off with better players. Your players shouldn't start off 60 overall. Start play off like they did in what 2K12. The, what the, they started off with like uh, 70 overall or something like that. With but you had your play style. What's your play style that you want? You had certain attributes in certain places. You know, or maybe I don't know. Maybe um, maybe um. Y'all like paying for VC? Uh, crazy amounts of VC? Uh, they definitely should lower how it takes 200k VC, which is about $50. $50-$60 to upgrade your play after you just pay $70 for a video game. So, they should definitely lower VC. That's what I'm gonna say. Lower VC. Maybe make it to where it's only 20 bucks to upgrade your play to 85. You know? That would help, but I don't think they're gonna do that. You know. But if you like videos like this, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me about how you tell me how you feel in the comments. And this has been a Dave Called Quest. Peace.